Hey Virgos, welcome to your weekly love reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is from September 1st to the 11th. Hope you guys are doing really good. So for those who aren't aware, I always go through my meditative session and then I go ahead and get into the reading. Keep in mind, anything I pick up in the meditative session is energy that I'm picking up in and around you. So it could be coming from you directly, you could be experiencing this directly, or someone in your immediate environment or someone that is energetically attached to you, okay? Virgos, very serious energy. Pretty sure the last reading I did for you, your energy was also very serious. Uh, uh, Virgo, I felt a lot of death energy around you. Not like death, but like like death energy, like scorpionic energy, the death card energy. And to be honest, I feel like it, it's forcing a bit of a challenge on you, okay? Um, this challenge could be just from your guides. Some of you, it's straight up like your guides are pushing you, challenging you, trying to get you get up and going, you know? Um... Others of you, it could be like an actual Scorpio, you could be dealing with Scorpio, um, or it could be people in your environment or a person in your environment. Either way, it's forcing a challenge on you. A lot of you have accepted this challenge, <laughs> which I loved. I loved feeling that. It was kind of like, oh, I can do this. <laughs> we can go there. Uh, but it feels like it's really positive. It feels like it's really positive, Virgo. However, some of you are resisting it. I'm just being honest. A lot of you are embracing it, but some of you are definitely resisting it. But this death energy, I got to be honest, Virgo, it, it is a challenge for a reason, right? I mean, and, and everything comes with a price, so to speak. And I don't mean to sound all dark and gloomy and shit. Um, everything comes with a price. This death energy, I feel like, is forcing you uh, not only to, for some of you to face some of your wounds here. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Mm. Ugh not only to face some of your your own wounding here um but maybe even to kind of challenge you in and maybe some of the things that maybe you've kind of done to other people too right we've all done shit we're not we're not perfect we are not perfect beings believe me being human means being imperfect right um and through our life I swear I've felt this energy with you guys before. Uh, and through our lives, you know, sometimes we make mistakes. Sometimes we don't treat people the best. Or sometimes we get triggered and we don't realize how we might affect other people. Some of you are having to go down that rabbit hole, okay? Of not only facing the, your wounds that you haven't looked at yet. I feel like it's almost just like another milestone in a big, big, major death phase for a lot of you. Where you guys have been doing this throughout like the last year or the last few years. And it's kind of like, okay, ready for the next round, right? So a lot of you are already, already used to this, but some of you aren't really used to maybe, oh, maybe that was on me. Maybe I did do that. Maybe that person felt that way because I said that, or I did that, or I didn't notice that before. Um, a lot of you, I, I definitely feel like are facing some inner demons here. Um, I also pick up a little bit of devil energy. Not again, not in a bad way, not in a bad way. It's, it's just kind of like that inner inner demon energy of just where our wounding comes from, right? And sometimes we have wounds that we really haven't paid attention to because they either are so deep or they're so painful or they've festered into like an inner demon-like energy. And that's being challenged, okay? That's being challenged. I do feel for some of you, um, some 3D attachments are being challenged as well. So what do I mean by that? is as we you know for especially for those who are light workers or who are on their spiritual path um the more you you start to upgrade right the more upgrades you get the more you start to ascend the more you kind of have to give up sometimes when it comes to the 3d so like sometimes that's in the form of oh well you went through a transmutation now you can't eat meat <laughs> You know what I mean? It's like that happens to light workers or they can't uh, drink anymore or they can't like, you know, get down on the 420 train anymore. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, things like that. Things like that. Um, and even just lo losing some more of that three dimensional perspective. And some of you are finding this a little challenging. So this death challenge, we'll just call it the death challenge. Uh, I almost called you Scorpio. So you, you see what I mean? It's like you have a lot of scorpionic energy around you. This death challenge, Virgos, is coming in very different forms for a lot of you, okay? So just take that as it resonates. Just take that as it resonates. Um, I, but I, I honestly also feel a lot of beautiful energy coming from this as well. A lot of, like, sun energy. I actually did see a rose, so I thought that was really nice. Um, it's going to really transform you, Virgo. It's taking you up to the whole next level. And also as a result of this, a lot of you are building something new for yourselves, okay? I definitely saw that. And I caught, a, like, a quick flash very very quick flash 
of some of your past lives where or where, where you, you guys were connected okay like quite literally i'm i'm tapped into a lot of virgos right now i'm tapped into a major virgo collective i saw a quick flash of egypt and it's like the the building of oh God, i'm like i don't i'm not i'm so not good with like the different formations and pyramids of egypt but it was definitely the building of one of the, these significant ones and you just saw how many people had to build this were forced to build this right and obviously not under the best of circumstances and definitely some of you actually were connected with each other in that life and it was a very quick flash right um so that is coming up for some of you some of your wounding in this life is connected to that um this energy of being uh enslaved this energy of of having to be subdued and, and under someone and answer to someone and oh okay authority authority issues okay some of you are definitely dealing with some of that <laughs> some of you guys have issues with authority okay and that is being brought up because of that life that you are connected to okay anyway virgo let's not fall down the rabbit hole let's get to your reading right so the other interesting thing i was i was drawn to pull from a, a new deck for you guys and i was actually saving this deck and i'm like okay okay virgos you're calling me to use it so for anybody who's curious <laughs> If you guys really would like this deck for yourselves, I'll be putting a link down below. I got it from Amazon. Hold on, sorry. <clears throat> Virgos, you and your throat, the throat chakra. You and Gemini always get me with the throat chakra. Santa Muerte. Sorry if I can't roll my eyes, my, my eyes, my R's properly. <laughs> my grandfather's literally shaking his head at me right now. He's one of my guides. He's literally shaking his head at me. Um, anyway. It's an awesome deck. I think you guys would really like it. For those who would want to purchase it, like I said, I get it from Amazon. I'm just putting the link down below for convenience, okay? Okay, Virgos, let's go ahead and get into your reading. Uh, for those who are new to my channel or new to tarot, please keep in mind these are very general readings. Um, they will not resonate with everybody. Messages come through for those who need them, okay? For those who need them. Uh, so that's not always going to be you, okay? Sorry. It's just not. It's just not. It's just not possible to read for every single person on the planet, okay? Um, if this re message isn't resonating with you, please, by all means, check out any other reader on YouTube. We have a lot of fabulous ones. Also, guys, keep in mind we are working with energy. So even if it's resonating with you but the roles are reversed, that's okay. Just reverse them. Um, it's energy. It's fluid. It's not linear. It's not fixed, okay? It's energy between you and other people. And, and for a lot of a lot of these readings, I do pick up on external energies, so keep that in mind as well. When that happens, you can be any one of these energies in this reading. Also, guys, don't get hung up on the gender of the cards. Nothing is gender specific. We all have masculine and feminine energy. Okay? All right. Actually, I'm sorry. Any chapstick. <laughs> sorry, all of a sudden I felt like, oh man, what's up with my lips? Mm. Okay. Okay, Virgos. I, I heard Scorpio again. <laughs> If you're not dealing directly with Scorpio, that's fine. I just, I think you're just in a lot of Scorpionic death energy to, to deal with some of these issues, okay? Authority keeps coming up as well, and now I have a freaking eyelash in my eyeball. Holy shit. Sorry, guys. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, and I just heard procrastination. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. That's interesting for Virgos. Um, procrastination. Oh, for those who are resisting this. Okay. For those who are resisting this, this death challenge. <clears throat> any messages for virgo by the way happy birthday virgos oh my gosh i'm so sorry happy birthday happy birthday any messages for virgos left eye is freaking out again any messages for virgos regarding love september 1st to the 11th virgos you're going to be coming out of the season a lot stronger a lot lighter renewed if for those who take on this death challenge for those who don't i really feel like you're gonna be losing out on some major opportunities for yourself okay it's really to uh, to level you up it really is to level you up so i would i would accept this challenge okay don't be afraid of it nothing to be afraid of here's an illusion any messages for my virgos regarding love september 1st to the 11th okay <clears throat> I just heard mother. What is this mother energy about? Oh, some of you, this is straight up authority, authoritative issues regarding parental figures. A lot of you, it's going to be your mother. It's interesting. Or you could be a mother. I'm like, it's so interesting. They just went mother. Let's see. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> Newer deck. Seven of swords in reverse. Aquarian energy. Yeah. So this is about old crimes. Old crimes of the past, old deceit of the past, old sabotage of the past. Like I said, Virgos, you're being challenged to look at some bad shit that either you've put off 
procrastinating <laughs> that you either have put off looking at or that you have done to people and it's been hard for you to accept that and to deal with that and like I said we're not perfect we are not perfect at all um, and this could also again just be things that have happened to you creating those inner demons for some of you so like I said coming in all kinds of little different flavors for you guys but it is a death challenge you're looking at the old crimes of the past <clears throat> Ooh, page of cups page of cups i know i love this deck isn't it so pretty i love it i freaking love it but page of cups energy so apologies yeah apologies of the past feelings of the past and pages are usually children again like i said some of you this is about um some very deep old wounds here uh, maybe things that could have happened to you as a child hold on i'm picking something up i'm feeling that authoritative issue again As a child, a lot of you didn't feel heard. <clears throat> Mercy. As, oh, and it's so funny as I say that because at the bottom, oh gosh, oh, hold on a second. Like I said, it's a newer deck, so I'm not familiar yet with all the cards. What's 13? Wait, I shouldn't, wait, 13. Cause it just says uh, Santa Muerte. Oh, death. <laughs> duh oh that's funny that's funny here i'll put it up close so you guys can see it's a beautiful card i actually i love this rendition of the death card that's beautiful it almost looks like an empress doesn't it i actually thought it was empress and i'm like there's no way that's empress because it's 13 and santa muerte death death <clears throat> as a child virgo some of you didn't feel heard some of you didn't feel heard i and i had this energy of mercy you you felt like you didn't you felt like you didn't get mercy and you deserved mercy. Oh man, Virgos, where's this going? Oh Virgos, where's this going? I mean, I guess when you're dealing with death energy and a death challenge, we go there, right? We go there. We go there like Scorpio would. I don't have any Virgo on my chart for those who are wondering. Uh, for like some of you were asking me, mercy. <sighs> Virgos, I gotta be honest. I'm picking up some abuse here, for some of you in your childhood like actual physical abuse a lot of fear a lot of fear whatever situation this is not going to be for everybody obviously but for those who are dealing with these wounds that you haven't looked at this is going to be why it's such a big challenge for those who are, who are dealing with these issues i'm getting a lot of physical abuse for some even sexual abuse um and you just wanted out and you couldn't because you were a child <clears throat> i just keep getting mercy Ugh, okay, let's get out of that. Let's get out of that. For others, it's just about how you feel about issues of the past. For some, yes, your childhood. Also, apologies that maybe you feel you deserve or apologies you feel that you should be giving, okay? And, oh God, Virgo, this is a deep reading. Any messages for Virgo regarding love, September 1st to the 11th? Don't be afraid of this energy, guys. Do not resist it. It's just going to be harder on you if you resist it. And you're going to be so much better off for it, okay? <clears throat> Any messages? Ooh, the world in reverse. Oh my god, that's an awesome world card. That is an awesome world card, just so you guys can see it. Oh, I love this deck. Anyway, world in reverse. Fixed energy, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio. Also Saturn, which was Capricorn here. Clo yeah, this is about you closing out some old wounds from some bad shit that happened, some bad shit you did, and closing that out forever. Closing that up forever, healing from it, accepting it, and again, acknowledging anything that maybe you might have done to people or the role that you might have played in someone else's pain or wounds, and closing that out, leaving it behind for the better. Again, death card is still here. All right, let's see what other, um, let's see what other uh, messages we get here. Any other messages for Virgos? Any other messages for Virgos regarding love, September 1st to the 11th? Any other messages for Virgos regarding love, September 1st to the 11th? <clears throat> let's see here all right overall energy we have oh the seven of cups in reverse scorpio <laughs> scorpionic energy here to have clarity of, yeah to have clarity of the bad deeds of the past that's what i'm getting with that having clarity of, of what has actually happened in the past what's actually transpired um because i you know sometimes when things happen to us 
we start to not see it clearly after a while because it's either too painful or we've carried around for just too long, right? Or it's festered into that devil energy, right? Which it creates a little bit of a hold on us. This is clearing out the mucky crap of that, right? Seeing things for what they really are. Seeing people for who they really are. Seeing ourselves for who we really are. Oh, Virgos, why'd you take me deep? Why'd you take me deep? Okay. For some of you, this is as mundane as just someone did some bad shit and there needs to be an apology or some communication about it to like finally put it to rest um, and then to bring clarity to the situation, right? For some, it's just as basic as that, whether that's between you and someone that you're, that you're in a loving relationship with or that you have a, fam you know, a family member, a friend, something happened at work. It could be as mundane as that for some of you, okay? But let's go ahead and take a look at this, Seven of Swords in reverse. I'm actually, that's funny, I'm getting Mercy again. And, they, and then they just gave me some um, uh, lyrics from um, Mercy by, who sings that, Brett Young? Brett Young, I'll, I'll put the link down below, actually. Hold on, I'm gonna forget. Where's the, where's the pen? I know I'm gonna forget that. Really, no pen? Really? Really? Okay. Mercy by Brett Young, Mercy by Brett Young, Mercy by Brett Young, Mercy by Brett Young. Okay, I'll try to remember it. Okay, let's look at the Seven of Swords in reverse, Virgo, and see where we're going with this. I'm gonna use right away to clarify. <clears throat> Tell me about the Seven of Swords in reverse. Yeah, have mercy, have mercy. Oh. Tell me about Seven of Swords in reverse. <clears throat> oh man, guys. Tell me about Seven of Swords in reverse. Virgos, I feel a little bit of a confession here for some of you, whether you're getting a confession from somebody about something they did that maybe you weren't aware of or that you're confessing to someone. Um, I feel a little bit of confession there. Why about Seven of Swords in reverse? For Virgo regarding love, so this refers to the 11th. Why about Seven of Swords in reverse for Virgo? Why about Seven of Swords in reverse for Virgo regarding love, September 1st to the 11th? Why about the Seven of Swords in reverse for Virgo? Why about Seven of Swords in reverse for Virgo? Claim out Seven of Swords in reverse for Virgo regarding love, September 1st to the 11th. Wow, Virgo, you do not want to look at this, do you? Virgos, don't be afraid of this death, death challenge. You got to go there. It'll be for your betterment, I promise you. I promise you. Tell me about Seven of Swords in reverse. What did I say about this this energy of children, right? Energy of like childhood wounds and shit. We got a lot of pages here. Page of Cups. Page of Wands, a magician in reverse, mercurial energy, could also be Virgo, Gemini, also Aquarius, Scorpio for me as a reader, divine masculine energy. <clears throat> Some of you, this definitely involves your childhood flat out. Some of you, this actually involves your own children. Or again, your parents, right? That parent-child dynamic here. I just can't get away from the energy of children involved in this um, or attached to this kind of energy. Magician in reverse, I'm getting a trickstery, deceptive energy here. Yeah, some of you, some of you just felt like you were dealt a very shitty hand as a child. Uh, so yeah, I, I can't get away from that energy. Some of you feel like your own parents were very selfish, uh, very deceptive. Uh, pawn? I'm actually hearing pawn. Used you as pawns? Oh, Virgos, where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Um, Virgos, I don't want to touch this energy, but we're going there. For some of you, this is honestly about some wounds from your childhood where your parents actually used you to get what they wanted. Whether that was, God, I'm getting sexual abuse with this. <clears throat> Whether that was, you know, putting you in a back room with someone and they got something out of it for whatever reason, like a trade, money, Oh, that's awful. That's really awful. Um, reconciling your feelings about that. Reconciling your feelings about that to heal those wounds. Oh, that's definitely for some of you. Others where it's the more like, <clears throat> not so major, right? Not so major stuff. Uh, it just seems like someone was very much, Im very immature with you. Very immature with you, Virgo. Or you could have been immature with this person. Keep in mind, it could be vice versa, right? But this magician energy, it's like, 
someone used their, their resources at their disposal to kind of play with someone is honestly how it feels. I'm, I'm getting a very playful energy and very, very immature energy as well. Let's see what else we have here. Yeah, I feel like it was all for their, their fun. It was fun for them. Whatever they were doing, it was for their own needs, their own gratification, their own selfish needs. And it was play. It was play. That's what they're telling me. It was play. Tell me about Seven of Swords in reverse for Virgo. Tell me about Seven of Swords in reverse for Virgo. Tell me about Seven of Swords in reverse for Virgo regarding love, September 1st to the 11th. Yeah, for those where, like, your parent did that to you, I'm so sorry. Like, that's heavy shit. Like, I'm, I'm glad you're putting it behind you for those... Who are dealing with that oh yeah overall energy seven of swords deception deceit i'm de i'm getting straight up heavy deception and deceit with this uh aquarian energy under that we have judgment in reverse mm -hmm. fire energy also scorpionic energy for me as a reader yeah whatever this was virgo that happened to you or you were a part of or maybe i really don't feel like you were the cause of this but again it could be vice versa right um obviously judgment verse like it was it was something really bad it was something really terrible something spirit would never approve of i'll put it that way something that spirit would never approve of i'm gonna pull the kipper cards to see if i can get details for anyone else here because this like this childhood abuse energy is like so in the front forefront i was gonna say something else that i was like oh no i'm glad i didn't say that <clears throat> is so in the forefront and I know it's not for everybody I want to get to some deceptive energy where it's more for people who have just experienced this in a more minor sense and the kipper deck will do that because this is energy that a lot of you are experiencing it's just coming in different flavors they just really want me to touch on that childhood abuse because I feel like for some of you you're resisting that because it's so painful and it's so heavy and I totally understand and that was something that was out of your control and it was something that you couldn't do anything about and maybe some of you are having a hard time also accepting that it wasn't your fault okay um but definitely th this definitely applies for some where it's like someone was just immature deceptive and acting very selfish acting very selfish so let's go ahead and pick up on that energy and see what other specifics we can get for others out there okay Ooh, tell me about this deceptive energy what is this deceptive energy about tell me about this magician in reverse and the seven of swords what was this person up to what was this deceptive act? Oh. Oh, okay. So interesting. We have message with the energy of seven. We have main male and official person, if you can see that. One and 22. 22 is a master number. And then bad health, 31, breaking down to a four. Official person can be like a very emperor-like energy to me. So this can be um, news or communication to or from a father figure or grandfather figure or like a judge of some sort bad health tells me that there is a very um unhealthy dynamic regarding this communication or that this i'm getting a father for a lot of you um that this father energy is in a bad way is actually what they're telling they're in a bad way why does it feel so old school to me saying it like that way oh because it, oh it's actually coming from my grandfather directly of course he would say it that way um, sorry, I guess my grandfather is really coming in here. My grandfather is really present right now in this in this reading. He's taken a back seat the last few months. Um, I don't know why my grandfather is really like coming forward so strong. I like that's happening for a reason. Maybe for a lot of you, this is regarding a grandfather figure. Okay, but anyway, anyway, um, yeah, this person was in a bad way regarding this communication. Others, you could be finding out that someone uh, that you're romantically involved in, like official person, meaning like your person, it could be your, your spouse, it could be your long term partner, or it could just be like someone who's very significant to you right now. It could even be your boss um, getting getting news that something awful has happened to them. Getting news that something awful has happened to them. Let's see what else we have here. It could be them. For some of you, it's this person that actually suffered um this deceit and this sabotage and you're finding this out okay and oh wow virgos and some of you are coming to their aid for it some of you are coming to their aid tell me more about this deceptive act tell me more about this deceptive act tell me more about this deceptive act oh that's it overall we have occupation which is energy of 34 break it down to a seven. Oh, and then we have privilege i almost said private lady 
But that's funny. I swore it said private on here, but I know that's not the word. I know it's privilege because I work with this deck a lot. 12 breaking down to a three. Virgos, I feel like this is actually your energy. I feel like this is you being really hard at work, really, really hard at work, really focusing on you. Yeah, Virgos, some of you are finding out that a romantic interest of yours or someone who's very significant in your life, like a main male energy, has gotten some shitty news or has been deceived or had something awful happen to them because of their father or their grandfather or their boss and emperor-like energy. Some of you are realizing that or finding that out and you're coming in to sort of aid them a little bit. I remember that death energy I was feeling, right? Some of you are acting as that agent for this person. Like, okay, I'll come in and help you, but you have to face this. Some of you are acting as that death agent for this person. And others, like I said, it could be the other way around. But this Virgo, whoever the privileged lady is here, this is someone who is very private. I'm feeling a very hermity energy, very Virgo energy. I feel like this person is alone a lot, isolated a lot, working a lot, or just distracted by the shit they got to do. Privileged lady is someone who has a lot of abundance has a lot of abundance um, or is just seen in, in a high regard. Can even be like a socialite. I don't like that word socialite, but it's that energy. This person is in their bubble, okay? This person's in their bubble. Um, and like I said, Virgo, some of you could be so into your work and so thrown into like your own stuff of what you wanna do on the day-to-day -day that you're not addressing, you're not addressing this. So again, take all these messages as they resonate. I'm just giving you different um, stuff I'm picking up on within this energy. Some of you Virgos are so into your work or so down the rabbit hole of your daily routine, your daily world, that you are ignoring this energy of, so, of a father figure, a boss, a grandfather figure, an emperor-like energy being in a bad way, being in a bad way and receiving communication about that. Um, or again, someone in your life who is dealing with that and you're you're kind of ignoring it okay so just again take all that as it resonates okay wow okay interesting that was interesting let's look at the world in reverse let's look at the world in reverse uh and then we'll pull some advice let's go for gilded yeah let's go for the gilded one for this one tell me about the world in reverse tell me about the world in reverse the world in reverse for Virgo sorry I'm like they're drawing me back here some of you have a suppressed memory and for whatever reason maybe it's the new moon in Virgo remember Neptune and Neptune is still retrograding in Pisces and that is actually opposing all the Virgo energy we're in uh bringing up some some stuff from your past that you don't you don't want to look at you're having trouble with this. Some of you, it's a repressed memory of your own father, grandfather figure, or boss from the past um, who did something to you, who did something to you and you repressed it. Time about the world in reverse. Wow. Interesting. So now we have Ace of Cups in reverse with the Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn energy could also be Earth or water. Full in reverse. Aries energy could also be Aquarius for me as a reader. Oh. Virgos, for some of you, this is your energy. Some of you, this is your energy. And again, it's like, I love that you're upright as a queen of pentacles. And again, this is very mother energy. I'm getting a lot of mother energy here. So, okay, okay. Thank you. Oh, slow down, slow down, slow down. I'm getting a couple downloads. It's like, ah, oh, hold on, hold on. Hold up, hold up. Uh, Virgos, in this queen of pentacles energy with the ace of cups in reverse, um, this is you dealing with this and not and trying to not let it inhibit love that you have for yourself and love that you may have for others but you're you're struggling you're struggling it's very it's very clear to me that you're struggling with this which is why the world is in reverse it's about the closing it right it's about the actually putting it to bed this is not this is like it's not done yet but you can you can finish this you can finish this virgo um don't let it affect the love you have for yourself or for others whatever happened to you whatever you're finding out don't let, don't let it affect that uh because yeah full in reverse it's it's that fear of closing it it's that fear of jumping on the cliff to face it full on, accepting it, healing from it, digesting it, as I like to say. That's how a Scorpio would do it. I'm just saying. And you are in a lot of Scorpio energy right now. Um, this is the fear of going there. But you got to go there. You got to go there. Uh, for others, I'm getting more of that, like, that mother energy I was picking up on earlier, uh, where maybe it wasn't just your father. It was also your mother. Like, you know, issues between, like, your mother and your father or just the whole dynamic right? The whole family dynamic, because I'm getting a strong mother energy here. Again, you could be a mom, you could have children, but you know, 
just take that as it resonates. Laura may be realizing, oh God, this is hard. <clears throat> Not wanting to face the fact that maybe your mother didn't love you. Wow. Virgos. My first read of the day and you guys are already wiping me out. Not wanting to accept the fact that maybe your mother didn't love you. It's hard for you to accept. It'd be hard for anybody to accept. And the truth of it is, guys, you know, and that's the thing that people don't realize. People think, oh, you have children. Of course you're going to love them. It's not true for everybody. It's not. I mean, what, is, what does it mean to become a parent? You literally just put some genes together. <laughs> that's what it means to be a parent, technically, in like just crude terms, right? Not everybody is up to that task of actually loving their child unconditionally. And I, oh God, I'm like, I want, I'm wanting to go on a whole tangent about this. But just very briefly, just very briefly, um, there are a few people who've spoken on this recently, especially in like the, the field of psychology, where, you know, people put these expectations on their children, wanting them to be a certain way, da 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 da, da realizing that you don't actually love your child, right? It's like, that's not loving your child, thinking that they need to do this, that, or the other to have, you know, to have it all or what you think is best for them. The truth is we're all individuals, we're all different human beings. And when you bring a child into this world, they're their own person. And that I think is a really hard thing for a lot of parents to swallow because they see that their child is different they, from them, right? They see their child is different from them. They have a different personality. They have different wants. They have different needs. They have different opinions. And because of that, they need to live a different life than you did. And a lot of parents have, have trouble with that. So they try to like rein their child in and confine them to what what they what they had what they think is best what what they not what they think is best how do i say this to what they wanted for themselves as opposed to what their child needs for themselves does that make sense because it's like that's that where the unconditional love comes from and i talk about this all the time where true love unconditional love is letting someone be who they are that's that's what it is that's what it is and the love that you have for them is not contingent on what they do for you and so when it comes to the parent-child dynamic, that's really hard for a lot of people to accept. And I am not a mother. I'm not a mother. I don't have children. All right. So take that with a grain of salt. But anyway, I don't know, feel, no, I don't know why I felt the need to go on that tangent, but clearly someone had to hear that. Someone had to hear that. And I'm not saying let your children run amok. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying let your children run amok and let them do whatever the hell they want. I'm just saying there are a lot of parents out there that try to force their children to fit in a certain box in a certain way because in their, in the parent's mind, that's what's best for them in the parent's mind. Like, for example, I think my child would do A, B, and C because that's best for me, A, B, and C. That's not your child's A, B, and C. That's your A, B, C. Do you understand what I'm saying? Anyway, I think you guys get it. I think you guys get it. I'm going to stop talking. <laughs> Anyway, tell me more about the world in reverse. Tell me more about the world in reverse. For those where this is more like minor, you know, where you're just finding out like maybe a romantic interest has just suffered something and you're trying to come to their aid or that you're finding out something a romantic interest of yours did to you. Um, it is making you question the love you have for them and the love that they have for you, if they even had it. Oh, wow. If they even had it. Okay. Tell me more about the world in reverse. Tell me more about the world in reverse for Virgo regarding love, September 1st to the 11th. Yeah, sorry, I'm picking up more on that romance energy. Yeah, some of you are finding out that someone that you've been committed to or someone that you've uh, had your eye on for a long time, I feel like it's more about people who like, you've been committed to this person, finding out that they've been a little bit of a trickster, finding out that they've been putting their, their needs of fun and play first and foremost, and it's like, and Virgos, it's making you wonder if they even loved you in the first place. Time of the world in reverse for Virgo. Keep in mind, could be vice versa. Time of the world in reverse for Virgo. Regarding love, September 1st to the 11th. Queen of Cups in reverse was the last card out. Cancerian energy could also be Pisces or Scorpio. There's the hurt. There's the hurt. There's the hurt. There's the hurt. For those dealing with that mother energy of like, my mother didn't really love me apparently, right? and trying to face that uh i think your mother might have had some codependency issues uh or just they didn't really know how to deal with emotions very well so that they could have just been very cold to you because they didn't know how to deal with emotions very well uh i just heard beat what the hell beat beat your mother was probably beat a lot 
your mother's parent probably beat a lot as a child or they probably beat you because they didn't know how to deal with their emotions uh, i'm also getting i'm also getting this energy of like of drinking uh there could have been some drinking issues in your family i feel like if it's drinking it's not just your mother i feel like it goes beyond that i feel like it yeah i feel like it expands through the family uh i'm definitely feeling that but anyway a lot of hurt here a lot of hurt hurt her, 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 her. a lot of her, her, her. <laughs> a lot of hurt a lot of hurt here a lot of uh, struggling to deal with emotions, okay? Um, even for those in the romantic situation, again, you trying to reconcile your feelings about this. Trying to find some grounding and some balance here. And Virgos, like I said, this is a death challenge. It's challenging you to face your wounds that you're experiencing currently in a romantic situation or your wounds from your childhood, wounds from family, or you coming to the aid of someone who's dealing with those with those issues and you're acting as that death agent to make them look at it, to make them deal with it, to make them heal. Not make them, but I don't like that word, but it's a pressure. You're putting pressure, okay, for those where you're coming to someone's aid. Overall energy, 10 of pentacles, oh yeah. Virgo energy, family vibration, home vibration. Uh, long-term security vibration also this can ind indicate some kind of work or money at play in this but like i said for a lot of you this feels like family wounds or your own childhood wounds and this is about your long-term stability and i'm also hearing mental health yeah virgos you gotta face this death challenge or you're helping someone face this death challenge because it's it's long-term stability and mental health is at play in this and that needs to be secured and you're helping secure this and like i said for some of you um this is also helping you deal with some issues around authority figures or authoritative, or authoritative issues of being able to handle authority or being able to handle someone give I don't like the word giving orders but that authority dynamic right by the way underneath that yeah two of cups in reverse uh can't say energy could also be soulmate energy for me as a reader and then we have the empress in reverse libra energy taurus energy divine feminine energy I feel a bit of a broken heart here I really do feel a little bit of a broken heart here and I definitely feel like it's from this deception Virgos some of you some of you, it's between you and an emperor in a romantic situation where this emperor has probably broken your heart, honestly. Yeah, I'm getting yes, yes. Whatever is coming out to light, it's very painful. It's heartbreaking. But Virgo, it's really, it's really going to help you level up. And again, some of you are coming to the aid of an emperor or coming to the aid of a significant other because they're dealing with some parent issues. Um, yeah, so again, take all that as it resonates, okay? Sorry, they're bringing me back in. Some of you, this is also issues face, that you're facing with your mother, as we already discussed. Okay. Whew. Virgo. Virgo. Let's get some advice. Let's get some goddamn advice on the board. Any advice? Any advice? For my Virgos? Any advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? I'm feeling a lot of regret all of a sudden. What's this? It's not for, oh. Whoever's facing the death challenge, you you don't have the regret. Whoever's facing the death challenge, you don't have regret. It's coming from someone else. It's coming from someone else. We might, we actually might get it in the spirit animal deck because I only started feeling it once I started touching this deck. Any advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? Any advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? Virgos, in facing some of these parental issues, some of you might actually be talking to your parents um, and, they could, and they could be uh, being getting filled with regret about this. Living or dead, they just said, living or dead. Some of you, part of this healing is actually speaking to your parents. Um, like the way you talk to your guides, right? You're dealing with it, you're getting upset, and it's like, you're just like, you just saying what you gotta say, even if they're passed away, as if they're in front of you. They're gonna hear you. You might even feel their energy. Any advice? Any advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? Any advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? Any advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? Oh, sorry, my grandfather is like. Okay, again, guys, I don't know why my grandfather's so in the forefront here. He's really making his presence known. And like I said, he's taken a back seat the last few months. Oh, yeah, peacock spirit, let it shine. 
46 is cyclical energy so closing cycles opening cycles and being very confident peacock spirit is just that it's like it's knowing who you are knowing your truth and not being afraid to say it not being afraid to go there virgos this is the energy you need to harness do not be afraid to go into this death challenge whether you're acting as a catalyst for someone in your life or you're facing it yourself do not be afraid to go there and do not be afraid to speak your truth to whoever you have to speak your truth to okay yeah my grandfather's putting his hand on my shoulder It's a very, sorry, I, I, keep, I know I keep talking about my grandfather, but for whatever reason I need to. He's like, he's right here on my left side. Okay, so this is not going to be for everybody, but I think this is one of the reasons my grandfather is still at the forefront here. Uh, anybody who has any indigenous roots, specifically um, uh, from Durango, or like the Chihuahua area, Hold on a second. Clyde? Okay, sorry. Even El Paso? I already know one person that this is definitely for. Hi, you, you know who you are. We'll talk later. Um, but I think that's why my grandfather's still at the forefront here. Uh, generational. Okay, so definitely what I just said that's probably hitting home for a lot of people what I just said about like as far as ethnicity go is concerned um, but it's also about generational it's about generational wounds generational curses that can be broken here okay thank you that's also why my grandfather is coming so so much in the forefront to as a reminder that facing the, this death challenge will break generational curses for a lot of you and generational wounds for a lot of you and you have to go there it's not just about you it's about it's about the next generations and it's about everyone and your it's about your ancestors as well because guys when it comes to our ancestors uh, i think i've talked about this before and nubians definitely talked about this you know we have we have ancestors that are not exactly in a good way <laughs> talking for my grandfather um we also have ancestors that are, are in a really good way right but when we heal those wounds, we heal a lot of that energy that we're connected to within our family. And I've talked about this before, where yes, all of us are connected energetically, everyone in the world, right? But we have these little networks within the grand network. And families act as a, as a little network that you can tap into where there's a hell of a lot more energy being stored because it's part of your genetics, it's part of your blood. You're directly connected to that in a very different way than the rest of the network, right? It can heal that energetic network within your family for generations to come. Okay. It also helps heal timeline wounds. Okay. Any other advice for Virgos? Any other advice? Yeah, my grandfather's taking a back seat now. All right. Moth spirit, surrender now. Virgos, do we even need to talk about this? Energy of three. Three means that it's not just you and one person, it's also ether. Ether is involved in this. Surrender to what is being, um, to, surrender to what you're being challenged with. Surrender to what you're being challenged with and speak your truth, know your truth, to close out this cycle. To close it. Break that curse, man. Do it. Do it. Do it. Even if you're helping someone do that for themselves, okay? For those who you're helping someone do this for themselves, um, I really feel strongly that it's something they haven't been through before. So they're having a, a really hard time with it. Any other advice for Virgos regarding this spread? Any other advice for Virgos regarding this spread? September 1st to the 11th. Any other advice for Virgos regarding this spread? September 1st to the 11th. I just heard my mother should have protected me. Okay. Now we have Wombat Spirit, be home, 68. That breaks down to, what does that break down to? 15, 14, a five. That breaks down to a five. And then Spider Spirit, make your dreams real, 56, breaking down to an 11. This is actually my Scorpio card. It is my Scorpio card. A lot of Scorpio energy around you guys. Um, this is manifesting wholeness. Manifesting wholeness within yourself. Manifesting wholeness within your family network. Again, breaking those generational curses. Damn it, it's going to make a second video. I just know it. I'm going to try to go quick here, guys. Um, but being able to become whole by facing this. By facing these wounds and letting all this stuff go. Healing this stuff so that you can rise. You can level up in your life. And you can move on to the next, okay? 
manifest it by putting in the action, putting in the work to speak your truth to whoever it is you got to speak it to, even if it's just to yourself and surrender to this challenge. Okay. Overall, we have armadillo spirit set healthy boundaries with the energy of three. Um, Virgos, don't push people out is actually what I'm hearing with this. Don't push people out. That's not the answer. It's good to have healthy boundaries because I think for some of you, these wounds have led to codependency. Led to codependency or a little bit of like people pleasing, a little bit of a doormat energy. It's okay to have healthy boundaries. You can't push everybody out. You can't push everybody out here, okay? Underneath that, we do have otter spirit. You're never alone. <laughs> 42 bring it down to a six you guys know how much i love this card it's my lover's card two of cups six of cups i'm also feeling for a lot of you this is about your family and those family members that did right by you your guides that are trying to do right by you and reminding you that you do have a lot of people who love you you have a lot of energies that love you and want to see you through this for some of you like i said this is revolve involving a romantic interest of sorts here um for those words involving romantic interest I do feel like this is about setting your boundaries with them as well. Because for some of you, this person did some deceptive shit because they were being selfish. They were being selfish and they wanted fun, they wanted play at your expense. And that's not okay. That's not okay. Speak your truth to them, do what you gotta do, and start manifesting what you want from this person or just moving forward. If you don't wanna deal with this person, you don't wanna deal with this person, that's up to you, right? That's your decision. Um, but either way, for those dealing with that romantic situation where they did wrong by you, definitely set the boundaries with them because you're reclaiming your power. This is helping you reclaim your power. Energy of 44, a master number. Again, this is helping you to level up. This is helping you to get stronger and also helping you to, to purge some of these generational wounds and generational curses, cycles, whatever you want to put, whatever label you want to put on it, right? You have the power in this to do whatever the hell you want with it. Take this opportunity, surrender to it. Surrender to this opportunity, Virgos. It's only going to lead to amazing things, okay? All right, guys, I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Damn it, I was so close. Anyway, oh well, happens for a reason, right? Virgos, I hope you enjoyed this. <laughs> god damn it it was like off in just a few seconds anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this uh don't forget to go on patreon check that out along with instagram facebook and twitter and i will see you guys later bye virgos namaste